Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the technical forum of the Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Europe. I just talked to the sales manager, Markus Rombach, of Burkhardt Compression, and I learned that it's a very big country worldwide producing and selling Burkhardt compress compressors. And he will tell you more about oil-free, high-pressure compression for large hydrogen volumes. Please welcome Markus Rombach. Yes, you can applaud. <laughs> Good morning. I should take this one. Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to a very short 15 minutes presentation of large volumes, hydrogen, compression, non-lubricated. Um, in the beginning, short introduction of myself. My name is Markus Rombach. I am area sales manager of Burkhardt Compression, of the Swiss company Burkhardt Compression, uh, responsible for sales in uh, Germany, Benelux, and Austria. So before I start talking about our compressor, compressors, um, I would like to yeah, explain shortly that hydrogen compressors are not a very new field. Everyone is saying, hey, this is new business and this is booming. It's not. We are a very old traditional company founded 1844, so nearly 180 years old. And we are manufacturing compressors, nothing else, compressors, mainly reciprocating compressors. And we are doing that also for hydrogen for quite a while. So we started our business in 1844, you can see that. And important for hydrogen and yeah, big volumes and um, yeah, is, is 1920. It started with, uh, with ammonia and we um, yeah, already at that time um, more, hun more of hundreds of um, bars were um, compressed. And it went through the, you can see during the history, um, 1951, for example, we started to compress uh, LDPE. At that time, already over 1,000 bar. So there was still one compressor in Leuna in Germany working from, from the 60s, which is uh, compressing 1,200 bar, still working nowadays, yeah? Um, if you go through, very important is, is that 2001, there was one compressor in Höchst in Frankfurt, which is oil-free hydrogen and over 200 bars. I will come back to that example later. Um, we are compressing hydrogen, you can see here, um, for pipeline injections, but also for refineries, and it started in the 70s. Okay, many will say refineries, that's all lubricated, yes, but that is the first experience we achieved with hydrogen compressors. And nowadays, we are very active in the marine sector here. LNG boil-off gas, these are non-lubricated compressors, about 300 bar. And that is the same kind of compressor which we now introduce and offer for hydrogen as well. You can see that here. So, Burkhardt Compression, I mentioned that, very traditional company, nearly 180 years old. Our head office in Winterthur, Switzerland. We have about 3,000 employees worldwide and two divisions. One is new compressor systems, the other one is, is uh, maintaining service division. And we are spread all over the world. We produce compressors, not only in Switzerland, but also in China in India, and for example, in, in America or in uh, Korea. So this is a small, uh, no, this is a slide where you can see the value chain. Uh, you probably have heard that there are different sources, hydrogen sources, it can be green, it can be blue, it can be gray. For us, it doesn't matter. For us, the most important thing is that we serve the right product for the customer, that we talk to the customers and that we yeah, give you the right product. 
And it doesn't matter whether it's for liquefaction, for pipeline business, or for trailer filling. It doesn't matter. It's all a compressor. And um, yeah, what kind of utilization it is, we don't care. So coming back to the, to the topic, large volumes, high pressure, non-lubricated. So this is our, what you can see here, is, is our different yeah, kind of compressors which we offer to the customers. And for large volumes, the traditional ones are the horizontal ones. These can be very big compressors, up to 30, 32 megawatt. Not for hydrogen, but in general. And this is, for example, this kind is very often used in the refinery business. We also offer vertical compressors. These are not so big, but those two kind of compressors, they can be used for large flows. If you look at high pressure, then there are three different kind of compressors. We have the standard high pressure compressors, quite small ones, they fit into a garage, for example, um, up to 400 bar, but lubricated. There are also diaphragm compressors in the market, we produce them as well. Um, higher pressure, but small volumes. So what we think the market is demanding, and that is the future, this is large volume and high pressure, and that we offer for vertical compressors. So that is, that is this kind of compressors. You can see the different types here, vertical ones, and these are the applications we can use them for. So I give you some examples in, during the next slides, how the compressors look like, what they can do. And this is a typical yeah, boxer compressor, a horizontal one, can be two strokes, four strokes, six strokes, doesn't matter, depending on the volume and depending on the demand of the customer. And um, yeah, they are often, or in the past, often used with um, lubricated compressors, but they can also be built oil-free. Um, but there is a limit. Limitation pressure-wise is about 200 bar, but then we can reach an MTBO of 27,000 hours. That's quite a lot. If you compare that to diaphragm compressor, normally you have about yeah, half a year, something like that. <clears throat> so that is a typical, ki typical kind of motor you can also see in a yeah, BMW motorcycle or in the form of Volkswagen Beetle. Um, that is the compressor. These are some examples of existing compressors. That is one compressor which is standing in the Netherlands. Um, it's already 10 years old and um, the pressure goes from 22 to 100 bar. So it's not a very high pressure, but it's a very big volume, 68,000 norm cubic meters. So that's, that's quite massive. And you can see that it's motor power 4,800 kilowatt. So that's, that's big volume. Another example that's smaller volume, and if you say, hey, 65 bar, that's not a lot. But important is the def difference between the suction pressure and the discharge pressure. And if you want to go from 0.3 bar gauge to 65 bar, then you need, in this case, five different stages. So this is a six crank machine and five different stages. And for each stage, you need certain elements and you have need some piping and some dampeners and some coolers and so on. So this is quite, quite big as well. Not in volume, but in difference of suction and discharge pressure. And this is oil free as well, huh? oil free. That is the example which I showed you beforehand. 
This compressor is already 20 years old, 21 years exactly. It's at InfraSurf near Frankfurt. It's used for bottle filling and it's non-lubricated as well. So there's also a very big difference between suction and discharge pressure. And um, yeah, we have quite a good MTBO here as well, one and a half year, 12,000 hours MTBO. So that's quite, quite good. Nowadays, as I said, this is 21 years old. Nowadays, we could do even, even higher. In comparison to our competitors, we produce most of the segments of the, of the parts of the compressor ourselves, especially, and what is very important for non-lubricated hydrogen compressors are the rings, the packings, and so on, that we do for ourselves. We have a known department who is constructing that. This, coming back to the big volume, to the large volume, non-lubricated one, this is an example of a vertical compressor. And um, yeah, you can see vertical three cylinders. And also, we target an MTBO of 12,000 hours. We have a lot of experience with that kind of, press of compressors because we are very active in the marine sector, doing that for LNG, for boil off gas, so in many ships those kind of compressors are built. And, and we, have, we have a known compressor in Switzerland, which is doing 550 bar non-lubricated. And the 550 bar is, is, so this compressor is working for about one year for this, for this pressure level. So before I get pressure up because of the time frame, we have to I'm really sorry to end this presentation. Two minutes. Because mm -hmm. no, we have uh, we are in a time frame that because the online visitors they click a quarter, half past, and uh, so that's why we have come to an end. Sorry, but okay. you, you can make the closing word. All right. Okay. okay. So very shortly, what we can offer you is non-lubricated compressor for big volume. And uh, we have experience with that. We can offer you 5,500 bar, and that is, that is the future, what we think. Yeah? If you have questions, you can offer that. We are at the stand A62. Please come to us. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>